Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Brugly channel. I'm your host, Brugly, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining yet another Backrooms level. This one is Backrooms level 256, also known as Demon Scene. Yes, Demon Scene is the name, and this one is dangerous and trippy, and it's full of cryptic things that no one can understand. Yeah, sit back and buckle up for this one because it is crazy. Let's get into the explanation, shall we? Also, sub to Tugly. Try to get to 50k by the end of the year. We're at 30,000. Help a brother out. So level 256 actually has four different versions of its description on the wiki dot and each version is written by the same wanderer as they discover more and more about the level and the deeper the explanations go the creepier and more disturbing the author's explanation gets. So first, I'll start with the top document, which is the first entry. According to this first entry, level 256 is classified as a class pending, and it doesn't have a determined safety yet, but it is unsecured, and it is unknown if any entities are here. In this entry, the level is referred to as level in instead of level 256 because the wanderer didn't know where they were. Physically, the level looks like a huge, dark, tech demo warehouse or a building where computer terminals are just randomly on in this huge dark abyss of a warehouse. The level is completely dark besides the screens and this is one of the only pictures that was taken by the wanderer for the first entry. The author doesn't see any bases or outposts and they don't see an exit either but they're not freaking out yet they're just chilling. Just a big dark warehouse full of computer terminals. But they do remember that the level they came from was level 4, so the entrance to this level is from level 4. That is the end of the first entry, let's check out the second one, because things are starting to heat up. For the second entry, Backrooms level 256 is still classified as a class pending, and its safety is still undetermined. But now the level is officially named level 256, and not level N like in the first part. So level 256 looks like an abandoned tech demonstration and exhibition center, which is a place where tech and new stuff like that is showcased, except it's dark and it's abandoned and the entire level takes place indoors, maybe. Even though there are windows, and these windows just look outside to a formless and dark black outside. The level's design is kind of modern, and it has sleek tables and some random neon lights around. All of the neon lights, by the way, are blue, which is pretty strange. And all of the doors on this level are locked. Apparently, the wanderer that's writing all this kicked one of the doors open, and there was just a wall right behind it. <laughs> So it doesn't make sense why there was a door there if there's just going to be a wall behind it. I don't know. The main thing on the level is these terminals with computers on them. The computers have logos and branding from real life video game franchises and tech companies, but none of them have content on the screens that looks like anything from real life. The games and stuff are completely unrecognizable. The different types of screens show static screens, which is the most common type, and then some show really colorful, distorted images of people dancing or walking, like an old music video, and some have really bad 3D rendering demonstrations playing on them, and some of them even have very simple games on them. And these games have no end and no objective, they're just random games, I don't know. And at any given moment, any of the screens can blast really loud, distorted sounds, and then go black completely off. This is pretty common on the level, but if you aren't expecting it, it would be pretty scary. Now there are still no bases here, but the wanderer at this point is starting to get frantic and thinks that no one is seeing what they're posting, so they're kind of freaking out a little bit. The third entry has level 256 classified as a class 5 difficulty and is unsafe, unsecure, and is infested with entities. Earlier, it was just a class pending. And at this point, this is where the wanderer that you've been listening to has kind of lost all their sanity. Apparently, they're frantically uploading this third entry because they haven't heard any responses to the previous ones. And they're going crazy because it's so dark and quiet. They say that the terminals are starting to randomly turn on and off 
off like someone's flicking a light switch over and over again and that the screens themselves are just starting to scream like scream loudly at the wanderer yeah i think it's safe to say this person's lost it the wanderer says that it feels like someone or something has been watching them this whole time and it's getting worse the longer they're here they also say that quote the sky is dark, end quote, which is interesting because the level is supposed to take place only inside of a building, but the Wanderer still calls it a sky and says it's dark. Interesting. And that is where the third entry ends. Now for the fourth and the final entry sent by this Wanderer, it's written in four simple words, quote, it's not the sky, end quote. And this is the last picture that was uploaded by this person, which is thought to be the picture of whatever the sky is, or whatever is up above the level looking down. Creepy stuff. So yeah, after all that information from the Wanderer, we still don't really know much. We know that the level is a huge dark area with computer terminals that are controlled by an unknown being, or something like that. We also know that there has not been an exit found, and we also know that the screens play noises that are disturbing and terror-inducing. And the last thing we know is that the sky of this level isn't actually a sky, it's something else. Let me know what your theories are on this level down below in the comments. All right, that is it for this explanation. This one was absolutely nuts. I feel like it's pretty unique because of how it's written in a diary type way. Anyways, I liked it and I hope you did too. Thank you for watching the video. Until the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to check down in the description box below for any links you need, like my second channel, third channel, Twitter, Discord. It's all down there if you want it. Also, make sure to go check out Toogly and Spoogly, my second and third channels. I'm uploading multiple times a week over there. Uh, Toogly specifically, we got gaming videos, real life videos, tier list videos, reactions, that kind of stuff. Spoogly, we're all into the conspiracy over there. Conspiracy theories, UFOs, SCPs, cryptids, all that kind of stuff over there is going to be multiple times a week, just cryptic, dark, real life mystery type deal. If you like that stuff, go over there, check it out. Thank you all for everything you do. Thank you for supporting me. We are so close, so close to 500,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it. That is half of a million people subscribe to the Brugley channel, and I cannot thank you all enough. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.